of the mathematic. We worship all equations, the simple and quadratic. Algebra, geometry, set, and number theory. All admired equally In our purgatorial Pythagorean Secret society Fermo will return in a moment or two With the promising Mr. Keen Still impressed in the work he's done Quite a bright spot on the scene but the question still remains, will we greet him with fond embrace? Here with us in the aftermath, when the time arrives to take his place. Is he famous enough? Is fame what truly matters? This modern math is all fluff, our fine tradition left in tatters. Gentlemen, perhaps we've no right to disdain Our own names are not still so much in circulation You, Isaac Newton, have no cause to complain Your name still resounds with nauseating celebration And over that little gravity thing Disgusting how to that you cling The you don't refrain from us Remember I found calculus Fruitless, fruitless bickering Our timeless epitaph A spat like this will probably last a century and a half Easily said, from such as you, the so-called father of mathematics. Pythagoras, please drop the cheap dramatics. It's bad enough stuck here with these fanatics. Once again, tis I who am left in the cold. No one pays me heed or remembers my credentials. But many books proclaim that I'm the great mathmeister of all time. So pardon if I pine and grouse. I'm Germany's Carl Friedrich Geometry, Gauss. geometry, hello, hello, remember me You all would be consigned to hell as merely remembered personnel Were it not for Euclid I, the founder of geometry Easily seen Just returned with King. Sing we to symmetry with reverence and piety. Our purgatory of Pythagorean secret society. I'd like the privilege of being the first to welcome you, Mr. Keen. What is this place for you? But wait! If I didn't know better, I would say you're Sir Isaac Newton ah! and your Carl Friedrich Gauss. At last, as for you, I have a guess, but I'd prefer if you just tell me. We predate portraiture. This is Euclid. Of Euclidean geometry fame. A privilege, sir. Which means you're Pythagoras. You are well versed in your field, sir. Welcome to the place where history reclines. Welcome to the aftermath. The aftermath. What a relief. I always wondered where mathematicians go when they die. All right, enough. Gentlemen, I feel we should get to the point. Ah, yes, the point. Well, the see. point is that you cheated. I cheated? You, you cheated. cheated. You, you cheated. cheated. Let me explain. Let me explain. 
while we all admire what you've achieved and no one more than I. The means you use are quite contrived, you surely can't deny. Your proof, as far as we can tell, is technically correct, but simplicity and elegance are the things we most respect. And you used forms of math which weren't available to us. Therefore, you are not as great a mathematician as we. So you see, we're not convinced. We simply are not sure if we should let you in. We have to keep things pure. But I'm not dead yet. No, no, of course that's true, so we'll have to wait and see. But your time will surely come, and the choice will fall to me. And as we all know, all one's best work is done when youth's in flower. It's doubtful you'll have much more to show, and you're aging by the hour. Then what must I do? To be sure of my place, I have constructed a difficult problem for which you must find a solution that's elegant and adept. I do not see why you went to the trouble, dear Gauss. Wouldn't it be simpler just to let him fix his proof? What? Fix my proof? There's nothing wrong with my proof. My dear Danny, I hate to contradict you, but the fact remains you made a false assumption on the way, and now you have to pay. In order to transform your elliptic curves into Galois representations so they could be counted against the set of modular forms, you assumed they met the requirements of an Euler system, when in fact they do not. Poor Euler. It will distress him mightily when he hears that it was the construct which bears his name that was your undoing. Why did you not reveal this news before, Fermat? You could have saved Professor Keen the trip. Not to mention all my work on his test problem. I only just this moment found the slip. But your proof contains a flaw, Professor Keen. It destroys the whole foundation of your finely tuned machine. I hate to be a spoil sport, I know it was your goal, but your proof contains a big fat hole. A hole? A hole? My proof contains a hole? I didn't want to be the one to say I know this is upsetting, please show some self-control But your proof contains a big fat hole <laughs> Make no mistake about it, if this defect you can mend An offer of admission we will cheerfully extend But until the time arrives, you are forbidden to enroll Cause your proof contains a big that hole. A hole, a hole, your proof contains a hole. I hate to be the one to spoil your day. There's still a chance to fix it. We'll put you on parole. Cause your proof contains a big fat hole. Ha ha! Ha His proof contains a hole. Shabba da his proof contains a big fat A shame you seem so perfect for the role But your proof contains a big fat hole Your proof contains a hole